Well, welcome to the 32nd annual Rondel Day Parade. We'd like to welcome everyone here today on this nice, bright, sunny Saturday afternoon. And Bernard, it looks like we got visitors already. Oh, yes, we do. To start it off, we have St. Paul Mayor Chris Coleman's little entourage there. Chris seems like he's been mayor forever. He's going to try to do a Latimer, stay there for, what, four terms? Well, I think he's doing a pretty good job, so uh, maybe that won't be a bad thing. And by the way, I'm Stanley Freelix. And I'm Bernard Foster. And again, we welcome you here to the Rondo Day Parade. The 32nd annual Rondo Day Parade. Well, festival. How you doing, Mr. Mayor? And coming up is our beloved chief of police. And the highway patrol. Hey, they're walking kind of slow. It's, it's not that hot out yet, is it, Stan? <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. But I'm sure they got plenty of water with them. At least why the police car is big enough to carry plenty of water. But it's warm enough. Instead of here throwing candy, they should probably uh, hand out bottles of water on their way by. Yeah, that, that would work. That would work. Oh. Okay, now Stan, uh, who's this up coming up next? Oh, we just lost our list, so we really don't have everybody in order here. We'll do our best. We have Father Kevin coming up. Representing the St. Peter Claver Catholic Church and School. That school and church has been around since, whoa. Actually, I think it's one of the first black Catholic churches in the city of St. Paul. We hear a chant from Father Kevin as he passes by. And just a slight <coughs> air right here, but we missed our Grand Marshal, the Wilsons, Bill Wilson and his wife, Willie Mae Wilson. Actually, Bill was the first African-American elected to the city council in 1980. He served for 13 years and was elected president of the city council in 1989. After he retired from the city council in 1994, he founded the Higher Ground Academy Charter School, which is rated by U.S. News and World Reports as one of the top high schools in the state of Minnesota. He served as the Minnesota Commissioner for Human Rights under Governors Wendell Anderson and Ruby Perch, Perpich, and he was co-founder of the Inner City Youth League with Bobby Hickman and Ron Edwards back in 1968. And as for his lovely wife, Willie Mae Wilson, she served as the president and chief executive officer at St. Paul Urban League for over 30 years, from 1974 to 2004. And she was the first female and youngest person to hold that position. She was also elected president of the National Urban League's Council of Executives, which represent all of the urban leagues in the United States, and she served for two years. Locally in St. Paul, some of the board of directors she has served on include First National Bank of St. Paul, Metropolitan State University, St. Paul Academy and Summit School, Health Partners, Southern Minnesota Legal Services, and the St. Paul Housing and Redevelopment Authority. We'd like to commend Ms. Wilson on her work she's done for the city of St. Paul over the past 30, 40 years.
And as we just saw the St. Peter Claver contingency go by, we have the Rondo Day founders. Roger Anderson and Floyd Smaller. They spearhead this operation year in and year out. We thank them for their hard work and effort. And right now we have the Truth and Life Christian Center, with Pastor David Johnson. TLCC is a young church that has been in the community for the last five years. Yeah, Jackie Cooper. And we have the mentoring young adults with their leader, Jackie Cooper. It's a youth organization that works towards employment, housing, and leadership development for all our youth in the city of St. Paul. <laughs> and we have a little group here, the Rondo Community Television. It's good to see young men trying to do something positive with their lives. Yeah, get into TV. You can make a lot of money there, <laughs> Chief. Be another Stuart Scott. And coming up is the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. They were established back in 1906. And the Minneapolis chapter has been around since April 12th of 1946. So, Stan, you never belong to a fraternity. Or oh, yeah, you, you're a Marine Corps. I was going to say, I, I, <laughs> I belong to that big gun club called the United States Marine Corps. That was fraternity enough for me. Lucky man, lucky man. Now, I wonder if the Alpha's going to give them a little stomp and dance. But it's, it's probably too a little too warm for him. They maybe we, maybe we can coax him into doing it. Oh, they got some little freezy pops. <laughs> hey, they don't look frozen. There they go. There they go. All right, we have our roving interviewer, Ms. Dion, take it away. Good afternoon. Today we're at the Rondo Parade. This is the 32nd Andal Rondo Parade. And I have with us one of our Rondo neighbors that has a long residency here. Your name is? Rodney Edwards. And Rodney, every time you come to the Rondo Parade, what brings you back? Well, you know, the parade gets bigger and bigger every year. And um, I've been coming here probably since it started 32 years now. And um, so it, the parade's gotten bigger. The people, you know, in, in the community come out. We come out and see one another that we haven't seen maybe for years and stuff like that. So it's always real nice to come out uh, to Rondo Days and, um, and, and enjoy the festivities and the people. Thank you, Rodney. Thank you for that, Deanne. And right now we have the YMCA of St. Paul. And for more than 100 years, the YMCA has been changing minds, babies, and lives. And they work to help families fight homelessness, help at-risk youth, and to reach their full potential and help unemployed, underemployed find their place in the workforce. Representing today's youth, I'd like to thank the YWCA for all their support and work. Did you use the double dutch back in your day? <laughs> I can barely jump rope. Now I take that back. I can do a little jump roping for about 30 seconds now.
I don't think they practice very often either because they can't get it started. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to double dutch while you're moving. Hey, they're youth. They're kids. They can do that. And there's the YWCA bus. I'd like to remind everyone to join us down at the festival, down at the Martin Luther King Center after, or it's going to be right at the, the uh, what is the school right here on the corner here? They moved it over a little bit. It's a Rondo School. It's going to be in the, uh, all in the parking lot and all right there, Concordia and Dell Street. I'm sure a lot of people have came by and seen the tent set up. Make sure you join us down at the festivities. There'll be live music. There'll be arts, crafts. And plenty of food. <coughs> All right, so who do we have on the horizon now, Stan? All well, right now, it looks like uh, it's time for a uh, little history here. We know we got, uh, we got the Rondo Days uh, book written by Evelyn Fairbanks, which is a real good book that describes a lot of things that go along in the neighborhood here. This is an old, old book that's been out a little while. We also have Voices of Rondos here, written by Kate Cavett, and, which is another one. And both these books give a lot of good history of the families and the people, the makeup of the old Rondo days and how everything was. We also have a, a, another old book, which is Contributions of Black Women to Minnesota History. Now, these books can be found in the bookstore. They can be found down at the library. And they give you a lot of real good information on, on the background of the, the neighborhood that used to be here and to the neighborhood that is currently here today. Now, I'm sure you can get those online, too. But what can't you get online nowadays? Thank you. And actually, coming up next is the Mount Ol Olivet Baptist Church. Actually, Mount Olivet is one of the original black churches here in St. Paul, Central Avenue. The Mount Olivet, Mount Olivet, I'm sorry, Missionary Baptist Church, located at 451 West Central, has been serving the Rondo community and the city of St. Paul for over 93 years. The pastor of Mount Olivet is the Reverend Dr. James C. Thomas. Mount Olivet. So if you need some place to go pray on weekend, on whenever, any day of the week, check out Mount Olive. You can check out any of the churches around here. The doors are always open. All right, Vian, you've got somebody to talk to for us? Take it away. It's always fun to get an aspect from the kids on Rondo. So with enough said, what brings you to Rondo every year? Um, my grandma lived by Rondo, and it's really important to her. All the happiness and fun. There's all the funness and all the food. And that should be enough to bring you out today. Well, that was cute. The girls, the kids said they need to pray. Hey, we need more children like that and find themselves in the church. All right, back to the parade now. There was the mom. Olivet Baptist Church, and coming up next, Ramsey County Attorney John Choi. All right, John Choi, you're Ramsey County Attorney. He works hard to keep our community strong and safe. And coming up next is the Bradley Peak family. The Bradley Peak family are descendants of Miss Esther Bradley Peak. She's have her a column, you know, it was like a community column in the old St. Paul Recorder back in the day. You know, if something was happening, she wrote about it. You know, she got the news out to everyone here in St. Paul, Minneapolis, back in the day. It's Esther Bradley Peak. Very nice woman. And we have the Martin Luther King Center coming by. 
All right, here's the King Center basketball team. Now, it must be from the third and fourth grade up into the seventh and eighth grade. You know, kind of threw me because usually they were blue and white. They changed the colors. <laughs> the Kings. Well, actually, the Martin Luther King Center has been down with the Heli Q Brown Center since the early 70s, like 1975, when they, 72, if I understand correctly, when they built the center back in the day. Very nice facility. And here's the biblical pageant, Queen and Court of 2015, Pilgrim Baptist Church. And the Pilgrim Baptist Pack 61 Scout Troop. And the Cubs. And there's their leader, Dwayne Billups. He's been working with those kids for years. I remember when my kids were in the Scouts, he was one of the Scout Masters. Troop 61. Keep up the good work, fellas. And here's the Bible Blast Pass. Actually, it's Monday, July 20th through Friday, July 24th. You can get more information up at the park. Well, I hear music on the horizon. Drumming, so I guess we're going to get entertained soon, Stanley. Now here comes the contingency from Pilgrim Baptist Church. Pilgrim along with Mount Olivet, one of the original black churches on Central, Central Avenue in St. Paul, 732 West Central. I believe Pilgrim is the oldest black church in the city of St. Paul. Baby, look at he's 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 knocked out from this heat. <laughs> yeah, a little day in the sun. Hey there. Oh, here's John Choi right there. Hey, John, how's it going? Yeah, we announced him about five acts ago, but here he is. He's out there politicking. He doubled back on us. Oh, okay. All right, all right. And here comes the St. Saint Paul Saints, representatives of their local baseball team. You know, the name is synonymous with fun at the ballpark. The St. Paul Saints have been making waves with their zany promotions and championship baseball since 1993. This season, the Saints have opened up their new home, CHS Field, in the heart of downtown St. Paul and Lower Town. And they have the best record in their league. Check them out. For $5, you can enjoy the game. Saints baseball. And right now we have the SAG drill and dance team. It's a new Midwest drill and dance team that's grooming future leaders, encouraging all of you to achieve their goals. Check it out.
All right. Now we have Cricket Wireless. If you need a great prepaid plan, just call it Cricket, Wi Cricket Wireless. That's a mouthful, Stanley. Cricket and they wireless. have no annual contracts <laughs> and great prices. That's Cricket Wireless. <laughs> And up next, we have the St. Paul Public Schools. And on behalf of all the St. Paul Public Schools, they wish all their students, staff, and families a happy summer of 2015. St. Paul Public Schools. Now, the, pu the public schools aren't letting it whip, are they? This is good. Go with it. And there's the Hamlet to Hamlet collaboration in the Galtier Community School. All right, here comes the group from Concordia College on Marshall Avenue in St. Paul, the Golden Bears. Well, Concordia College has grown up. They're Concordia University yeah, now. Right. Concordia University, St. Paul is a small private liberal arts university located in St. Paul. Since 1893, Concordia has been preparing students for successful careers and meaningful lives. Okay. And... One other thing, they have a great volleyball team up at Concordia, six-time national champions. All right, we're going to go back to our interviewer in the streets, Miss Vion, take it away. Back at the Rondo 32nd Annual Parade, and it's always good to hear from the seniors. So right now I have Miss Betty Lewis, and she is a Rondo Residence. Resident for, go ahead, Betty, tell us. Uh, Since 1947. What brings you back to Rondo every year? Because it's like, I like to see the people that, we, that, that I've grown up with. Okay. And it has some nostalgia there for Betty. Thank you, Betty. All right, back to the parade. We have the group from, uh, I guess it's Comic-Con. We have the Joker, Batman, and... Uh, Wonder Woman, Captain America, Storm. I guess that's Thor right here, Stanley. Am I? Yep, that's Storm. Yes, it is. Now, who's the guy with the wings over there? Oh, there's, I think he's there's, from the. Uh, there's, um, Cat, there's Catwoman over there. Hmm. <laughs> I think he's the character from uh, Captain America. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, the, the guy that helps Captain America out. Back to the parade, we have the Halley Q. Brown center van coming through. Halley Q. Brown Community Center has served the Rondo and Summit University area for 86 years. With a mission as a multi-service center, they improve community life by offering services like early learning and youth programs, food shelf, and much more. Education programs are now been rolling for fall, so stop on by the Halle Q. Brown Community Center. All right, now we have the Dai Chow group. He's out campaigning for City Council Ward 1. He blew away the competition last year when he ran. He's got the firefighters supporting him. Uh, I guess he doesn't pull out any stops, does he? Dai Chow. Well, 
Well, you can tell by his chant that he wants to point out the diversity that we do have in, in this neighborhood oh, now. Yeah. yeah, I see that. It's like a rainbow coalition on that fire truck. Well, it's about time they need to do something like that. You know, the city's not for just one group. It's for all groups. All right, here comes the Ramsey County Sheriff, Community Affairs Offices. Rolling in a little Ford Explorer. And the St. Paul Promise Neighborhood Group. There's Rita Moran, she's leading that group. She's a state representative. District 65A. Boy, the wind is picking up, Stan. Yeah, it is. Keeping everybody cool on this hot day. It feels good, though, I tell you that. Oh, this is the dance group coming up. Destruction. Now, are they from out of town, Stanley? Well, I am certainly trying to find that for All right. Us. Oh, yeah, Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska. Destruction Drilling Dance Squad. Well, they stopped a little short of the viewing stand there, but I guess they're getting ready to perform. Well, hey, we're going to let Vion take it away. Go, go ahead, Vion. Once again, we're at the Rondo Parade. It's very hot out here. I was able to get an old Rondo resident, mm -hmm. Sharon e Edwards Hart. Yes. What brings you to Rondo every year? I come out every day to represent our community that has been an awesome community forever. Thank you, Sharon. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hi, we have the uh, Destruction Drill Squad coming up here uh, and uh, under the direction of Dur Durante Stevens. They're from out of Omaha, Nebraska. That was the destruction drill team from Omaha, Nebraska.
Give him a big hand. The destruction. Dancers real team from Omaha, Nebraska. Whole lot of energy there on such a hot day. Okay, up next, St. Paul Fire Department. Omaha, Nebraska. Part right, the St. Paul Fire Department to celebrate their African Americans and then the fire service. Passing out candy and treats to the kids. St. Paul Fire Department. All right, we're going to go back to Vion. Take it away, Vion. Back at the parade, I found someone that this is their very first year to the parade. Introducing you to Krista, what brings you here today? I um, came to check it out, check out the community and the music and having a great time so far. And this is your son? Yeah. You're gonna enjoy some fun today too? He especially likes the drums. This is Leo. Thank you. Hi Leo, enjoy the day. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you, Vian. Well, as the fire department, you know, they're finishing up their little run through the parade. They're well represented with their, with their equipment today. We got the water patrol, we got the ladder company, 20 and All right, St. Paul Fire. All right, Stan, any thoughts so far? Uh, so far, it's a pretty good parade. We've got a, a little bit of a, some uh, pretty good entertainment so far. You know, the little uh, performers coming through. Yeah, they expelled a whole lot of energy out there. Hope they have some left for the, for the park. Okay, okay, okay. Coming up next. Winter Carnival time. All right, all right. Is the Vulcan crew? Uh, yeah, here they come. 
Here comes the Vulcan crew, the crew to wreak havoc on the crowd. They still put that charcoal, st you know, that cork on people. Uh, yes, they do. And uh, what is it? It's like a little grease thing. All right, until they show up here. Vion, take it away. It's in my ear. She's telling me. Back at Rondo, I found somebody that's been coming for years and years. Their family is part of the Rondo celebration. Talisa, what brings you here today? Just the advantage of being able to celebrate the community with my fellow peers and my family and my other fellow African Americans. And at Rondo today, what are you going to eat? Catfish and chicken. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, catfish and chicken today. Sounds like a meal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. We're not, exactly, we're not exactly sure what I'm going to get into down there. Well, baby, something cold, too. All right, here comes the Keith Hardy. He runs for the same, he's part of the St. Paul School Board. Keith is in the election this year, trying to retain his seat. Good luck, Mr. Hardy. Here comes Keith. And he's walking, he's not riding in the car. How you like that? You don't even need any information. You just go to Keith Hardy, KeithAndre63 at gmail.com or hardyforeducation.org. All right, here comes the, oh, it wasn't the Vulcan crew. Oh, okay, my bad. It's the Knights of Templar. It's the right eminent grand commander, eminent sir, Stephen C. Davis, the Knights of Templar. All right, all right. So, since we have that slight mix up there. So we just had the Prince Hall Masonic family. The Masonic family has participated in the Ronald Celebration Parade for several years. It's the Pheasant Court number seven is Peggy Whittington. And it's part of the Zura of Minneapolis Shriners. Miss Olivia D. Dye. And Stan, I got a question for you. What year is this car coming up here right now? Right in front of you, right in front of you. It's a Catalina. I'm trying to see if it's a 60 or if it's a 59. Oh, see, so you, you, you're cheating because you're going you're gonna to look at the, la back pl the lights in the back. That'll tell you right there. <laughs> it's a 60. All right, all right. They always have nice, nice cars. The Zura can listen to that thing. <laughs> if I got that 460 Pontiac engine in there. All right. All right, so who do we got up here next, Danny? Well, I believe I have them. There's something in 
Magic. Let's see. I believe we're about to get the dance magic here. We can find Miss Vian. Vian, do you have anybody you can, what, you'd like to talk to in the street out there? You got this, sir. Hmm? I'm going to ask you. Pleasant Green Missionary Church. All right, coming up is the Pleasant Green Missionary Baptist Church with the Marching Saints. PGBC. Are you ready? It's. Yes. Back at Rondo, this is my better half, Fala Birch. And we wanted to share with you something today. We're missing one of our long lifetime members of Rondo community, Joe Fibbs. Joe Fibbs was a Rondo man. He was born and raised in the Rondo community. He loved Rondo, he loved his family, he loved the celebration, and he loved being a part of the community. He's no longer with us today, but we will remember him today and always. Joe Fibbs, a strong member of our community, a family man, and a good man. Thank you, Vian. I knew Joe, Joe personally myself. He was all of that and more. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back to the parade with Pleasant Green Missionary Baptist Church. The PG BC Marching Saints was founded in 2012 under the direction of Denise and Nikki Thomas. Look, that's so cute. Look at them. <laughs> you go, girls.
the Pleasant Green. Baptist Church of Marching Saints from Omaha, Nebraska. All right, coming up now, we have the Green Party of the 4th Congressional District. And Justice Marcus, Justice for Marcus Golden. Green Party of St. Paul in the 4th Congressional District. It's grassroots democracy, social and economic justice, nonviolence, ecological wisdom. www.pgpsp.com. All right, Vian, take it away. It's always good to get a, a perspective of the Rondo Parade from a young brother. So tell me your name. My name is Ramadan Campbell Bay. And what brings you to Rondo today? It was me and my family and the excitement of the community to see a community that could unite of all different races. And this is your first year coming to Rondo? This is my first year as an adult coming to Rondo's. Yes, okay, well I hope you have a good day today and thank you. Yes ma'am. You too. Thank you, Vian. All right, coming up now, it's the Sir Ceresso Ford Boxing Club. Got some young boxers there. Passing out the bubble gum. All right, Stanley, we have coming up next. It's the glorious triumphant church, Pastor Ronald D. Evans, Jr. The Glorious Triumph Church is a place where people can encounter divinity, experience the supernatural, and enhance their potential. It's the Reverend R.D. Evans. Yeah, and they're coming by as uh, Maverick and they're from Community Woodbury, Services. Minnesota. There's Mayor Community Services. And coming up now, doing all the flips is the St. Paul Central. Football players and the cheerleading team with Coach Scott Howe. You know, they had a pretty good squad last year, Stanley. Yeah, I'm hoping to uh, get out and see a little bit more of their uh, football action this year, along with their... They fell a little short last year during the playoffs, but... That's a whole different season once you get out there with those super large schools. And you have to get into those playoffs, get your, get your feet wet a few times, you know, and get all the, you know, cobwebs worked out of your stomach because that's where they're going to build up at. All right, it's St. Paul Central. There they go flipping. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. And one more. Take it away. 
We are living Mr. Anderson and Mr. Smaller's dream today at the Rondo Day Parade. Yes, we are. And I have with me Regina Billups. And Regina Billups, what brings you to Rondo every year as I see you? The community, the spirit of togetherness. It's a beautiful thing. It sure is. Thank you. All right, now coming up is the Metro Transit Clean Bus. It's one of those hybrid buses that they use on the city streets. They burn clean biofuel. I don't think, I don't know if they get you to your destination any quicker, but hey. Have you ever been on one of those, Stan? Which is that? One of these clean hybrid buses. Uh, no, I, I walk. <laughs> what What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't use uh, public transportation. Oh, much. okay. All right, all right. And I even light rail? Yeah, I, I finally rolled on the light rail. Got a chance to ride on that, and I found that very enjoyable. And uh, after I retire here, I'm going to use the public transportation a lot. Well, you be a big supporter of it. Okay. We got the Winter Carnival coming up here. All right, we have the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Royal family. The St. Paul Winter Carnival started back in 1886. King Boreas. And with the Queen of Snows. Oh, you got all there. Klondike, Kate. And they make a lot of noise here. They're with the Balkan crew pulling up the rear. Hey, the Bolton crew is kind of thin this year, Stan. I only saw, oh, there they are, there. I only see, I saw two of them, but they're, here they come. Here they come. Got, them, got them on foot, so they're a little yeah, spread right. out. Spreading mayhem all around here. Oh, they like, no, 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 I don't want that on my face. All right, the St. Paul Vulcan crew in the Winter Carnival contingency. We got a shorty here from North Memorial Midway Care. Okay. That's midwifery care. That's what I said, oh, okay. midwifery care. Okay, I'm it sorry. It sounded like I said midway, but it was a, a glitch in the microphone. And following up is the St. Paul Public Library's Bookmobile. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, Vion. Okay, back at the Rondo Community Rondo Day Parade. And I have with me... Venus. And Venus, every time you come to Rondo, you said you've been coming for about... 14 years. What brings you back? The general team, the, the people, the community, I love it. What are you going to eat today? I found me some ribs and chicken. All right. Well, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. All right, back to the, to the raid. We, we just had the Bookmobile go by. The Bookmobile offers year-round services to St. Paul neighborhoods with over 40 stops every two weeks. It's the St. Paul Public Library Bookmobile. And up next is the Inver Hills Community College group. Inver Hill Community College out in Inver Grove Heights. And we're gonna take it back to Vion. Take it away, Vion. Back at the Rondo Day Parade with my sister, Janald. And every year we meet in the same spot at Rondo. 
what brings us here every year. This is an opportunity for us to celebrate Roundel Days and what it meant to us to live in this community. Our family live right on this block. It's an honor to be here. And so I'm grateful to see friends and family today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you, Vianne. All right, just down what we have here coming up on the horizon. Well, back to you, Stan. I got a question here for you. Okay. So, how long do you think this parade is? Like three, two, three miles? Let's see. The route, I would say, is about a mile and a half. Okay. Uh, okay, Look. okay, okay. We like the camera. Yeah, I say the, the route here is about a mile and a half. Starts at uh, St. Peter Claver's... Uh, church right on Oxford and Central and as it winds its way back through and ends up over at the MLK Center I do believe it's about a mile and a half. Okay, mile and a half. Okay, I'll buy it. I thought it was maybe longer than that. Probably feels like three miles. Well, I know if you're when walking it, when, in when that you, sun, it probably feels like sun. five true, miles. True, 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 true. So, so we should have had a couple of those uh, transportation buses, you know, so it could pick up people on the way and roll them as they're going along. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now. Well, I put it this way, it must be a DJ. Oh, they got the little guys dancing. <laughs> he's, he's got quick feet. Yeah, here we go. We got FVT, Shockwood Dance Group. Marcus Thompson's the, the leader of the group. They're a local dance group from here in St. Paul. Well, they're small people and they're tired out, so most of them are taking a little ride right now to rest up a bit. Well, I think they were taking turns doing a little, what do you call that little dance in the crunch? What, what's that called? Do you know? The shimmy. <laughs> <laughs> we got Mad Dads coming up. Oh, Mad Dads. A Twin City based group. They're trying to stop the violence here in the greater Twin City area. It's just getting crazy out there. Now, Mad Dads, they've, they've been in the parade like for the last 10 years. All right, we're going to take it back to Vion. Go ahead, Vion. It is hot, it is fun, and we're having a great time. And I found somebody that's not even from here, and this is their first time at Rondo Parade. Yes, I'm enjoying this parade. Uh, my brother and sister-in-law invited me over to enjoy the festivities that's going on today. And it, it is hot out here, but this is really nice, the celebration of this neighborhood. And I'm learning a little about the history as the parade goes on and talking to different people. And it's very important to remember what this community done and what it stood for back in the day. So I'm glad to be here. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Michael. Hey, he said he just got here. He should come here in the winter time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Went him to the Winter Carnival Parade then. Yeah, he, you know. he, he can feel then, both extremes. Yeah, then they have the full taste of Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to it. All right, back to Mad Dad's mobile unit. It's an outreach unit. You know, actually, they go around, they talk to the young youth in the Twin Cities and try to, you know, get them on the right track. Which, there's a lot of, you know, wayward youth out here today. Mad Dad. And up next is Head Start. 
Head Start originated back in the 60s here in, the, in St. Paul. And there goes the Mad Dads getting their little spill to the youth and watching the parade here today. <laughs> they a little close to us here. We got that. And we're still with the Head Start group. Okay, we're gonna take back the Vian. Vian, take it away, take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Wait, wait, wait. You'll tell me in my ear. Oh, my earpiece is out. Okay, one of the things we like about Rondo is when they do things for the kids. So right now I have with me T. T, and she works at Community Action Program. And what brings you here today to Rondo? We're here actually to represent Phoenix, who is no longer with us. Uh, she's been out here in Rondo in the community for 20 plus years. So we're here actually representing uh, Head Start. Thank you, and Phoenix was a good friend of mine too. She goes way back. We're missing her today. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're now coming up is the Open Cities Health Center. Actually, I believe Open Cities, aren't they part of the Halle Q. Brown building? I believe they, they are. Have health services down there for all ages. The yeah, Open Cities, they've been around since 1972, I believe. Open Cities Health Center. Community health with the heart. Actually, it's their nonprofit community health clinic since 1967 off by five years. All right, we're going to go back to Vian. Vian, take it away. Back at the Rondo Day Parade where we're having a good time. And one thing we always want to think about is sponsoring breast cancer. So I have with me today Sharon Edwards Hart, and she wants to just give a shout out. I want to give a shout out to Butterfly for Life Support Network. We've been together for over five years. And we've been doing wonderful things to our breast, for our breast cancer survivors. And I just wanted to say, hey, Butterfly for Life. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vian. And up next, we have the St. Paul DFL, the Democratic Farm Labor. The St. Paul Democratic Farmers Labor Party is proud to be marching with the endorsed candidates for the school board, Zuki Ellis. Steve Marchese, John Shoemaker, and Mary Vandervert. I'd like to give them a warm welcome today in the parade. But well, there's no doubt they're getting a warm welcome today. And then some. So I'm sure you're going to get out and vote for uh, all of them, right, Stan? Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. But even if it's not them, everybody, get out and vote. If you don't vote, you got nothing to complain about. That is so true. No matter how you vote, just get out there and vote. All right, here they come. And coming up shortly would be Dance and Magic. DFL needs you. Come out. Oh, I take the back correction. It's Metropolitan State University. They're hiding on me back just then. <laughs> B 
Betty McCollum and Zuki Ellis. All right, that was the St. Paul DFL. All right, now, Metropolitan State University. Metropolitan State University is a member of the Minnesota SCU school system. They offer a wide range of undergraduate degrees, programs, and a convenient location. They're just east of downtown, off of 6th Street. You can't miss it. Metropolitan State University. Now, I was looking for Vian. Vian, can you find anyone else to speak with out there? Everyone's shy today. All right, well, back to the parade. We have Dance and Magic. The St. Paul Dance Studio offers classes for ages 2 through 100, featuring hip hop, tap, jazz, ballet afro and more learning dance to build confidence skills and have fun and create magic they're located at 970 73 no i'm sorry 913 selby avenue and it's run by anna tilson and lasha tilson tolls that's dance in magic hi baby All right, Vion, take it away. Kids, kids, kids are everywhere, and I found a little shorty that wants to say something about Rondo. Tell me your name. Sanai. And Sanai, what brings you to Rondo? Well, I just wanted to see the community be ha having fun and being a, being a great community. Isn't that sweet? Well, we thank you for coming today. One thing I'd like to say is this beautiful shirt I got on. You can get it on the 600 block on Iglehart from Clifford Dodd. It has all Rondo names of all the family. Grab you one today. All right, thank you, Vian. All right, up next is the SEIU Healthcare Minnesota. SEIU is a healthcare union that has recently included home care workers across the state of Minnesota. Our hope is to change the history of home care and domestic work so that people see it as a real job and we can professionalize the industry while gaining real concrete changes in wages, benefits, and training. That's the SEIU Healthcare, United for Quality Care. And they're located at 345 Randolph Avenue in St. Paul. And the contact person is Miss Summer Spica. All right, up next. We have the Million Artists Movement. Now, they're new this year, Stanley. Yes, they are. Million Artists Movement. Oh well. Keep the paintings going and drawings, whatever your whatever your art form is, what kind of medium you do. All right, we have the Black Lives Matter of St. Paul which was started, the movement was started back in 2013. It's under the direction of Mr. Rashad Turner and Monique Doty. They can be reached at Black Lives St. Paul at gmail.com. And up next is the Save the Kids, savethekidsgroup.org. 
It's a fully volunteer grassroots organization dedicated to alternatives to in the incarceration of all youth. At Save the Kids Group dot org. All right. He's got a message about saving the kids, saving the children. Oh, they, they took it away. All right, I got it. Save the kids, don't lock them up. No justice. No justice. No more police. All right, save, save the kids. Stop police brutality. Not to backtrack here, but the Million Artists Movement that passed a, two minutes ago is a collection of black, brown, and radical activists and artists that revolutionized the art scene. Okay, up next we have the Urban Academy Charter School. And that is led by Una Vang, and they're at 133 East 7th Street in St. Paul. The Urban Academy Charter School. All right, very shortly we will be entertained by the Half Pints revamped and reloaded drill team from St. Paul. Urban Academy. All right, so Stan. Do you have anything to elaborate on as we sit here burning up in this hot sun? Well, you know, um, I know it's a little warm out today, but it sure beats the heck out of 18 inches of snow. True. That's so true. Well, I see they have pints, you know, up the block, so when are they going to move down this way so everybody can you well, know, they're gonna, get a look and see? They're definitely going to move down here and give us a little show. Here they go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the half pipes. They're going to move into uh, position and show what they can do. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to get down to the festival there. I want to find me something really, really good to eat. I haven't decided on what I want this year. Have you decided what you're after this year? Yeah, slushy. A slushy. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it gets so hot, I don't feel like eating.
All right. There was a half pint, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up. Give it up. They're at a half pint. And coming up behind the app, and half we pints, the, we have the uh, UPS Midway store. For your, your printing needs. P.O. boxes, whatever you need up there. UPS, run by Ryan Wilson. They've been providing business and services to the Greater Midway Rondo community for over two decades. That's a UPS store at 1360 University Avenue. Now here's a message all these kids should read. Stay in school and go to college. That should be the mantra for all these young kids nowadays. Stay in school. All right, we're gonna take away with Vian. We are certainly recognizing the past today at the Rondo Day Parade. And right now I have with me, Tammy Good Jones. Roger Lane Stewart. And they're enjoying the Ronald Day Parade and this heat, but what brings you here every year? You've been coming every year, you said. Yes, I've been coming for a, for a few years, ever since I've been 14. Um, what makes us still coming here, we like to watch them dancing, the marching, all the people. My niece, I'm, she comes every year from Georgia. She likes when they throw out all that candy and stuff. But just to see all your old friends from like school and everything and see everybody in the community, it's fun. Thank you. Food, though, huh? Thank you. What are you going to eat today? Uh, maybe hamburger. Sounds good to me. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you, Vian. All right. I believe that. All right. How are we going to stand? Well, I guess we got, uh, we're got we getting ready for KMOJ to come by, so I don't know if they can hear us. You, you hear that loud music, it's KMOJ. <laughs> no doubt the, about it. They got the music blasting. So we're doing you know, well. We've got some nice groups that came by, a little bit of entertainment, and uh, it looks like everybody's enjoying the parade. Well, good. Ear-splitting music. Wait, put your plugs in, because it's going to get loud. Okay, it's All right. All right, thank you. All right, coming up is KMOJ 89.9 on your dial. KMOJ, well representative with the vehicles. That's Ray Richardson, Shed G, Walter Q. Bear Banks. I don't see Q. Bear this year, but hey, I'm sure he's. All right, we're going to take it back to Vion. Vion, take it away. We are having a great day today at the Ronald Day Parade. And look who I found. This is one brother, and this is his other brother. So tell me your name Samuel Chris. Giovanni. And what brings Samuel and Giovanni to Rondo today? Well, because I kind of never been to Rondo, and this is kind of my first time, man. Are you having a good time? Yes. And Giovanni, what brings you? I got to stay out of my tippy toes to talk to you. 
Um, I just like seeing the community get together and have something that's just positive for once instead of all the negative. So it's just good to see everybody just having fun. Thank you. That was great. You guys did good. Thank you. Way to go, young man. <laughs> all right. We still have KMOJ up here. I mean, it, they got a parade in itself. Yeah. With all those vehicles. Got a sub parade going on here. But, you know, I look around at the crowd, you know, and uh, as the neighborhood has grown to be, it's a very diverse and mixed crowd here. Everybody seems to be enjoying themselves, and I'm sure they're going to have just as much fun over at the festival. All right, once again, that was just KMOJ at 2123 West Broadway, Suite 200. I know what we didn't see this year is a, a lot of classic cars in the parade. Usually there's a lot more. Yeah, that is surprising. As a matter of speaking, we haven't had a whole lot of old cars as well as the, uh, you know, like the uh, Model Ts and right, right. those types, the uh, hot rods, the back to the 50s cars. Yeah. We got a car with confused doors coming down here. Oh. The old suicide doors. I hope no one stops in front of them. Like that young man right there? Right, right. Yep. Scotty Marge. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this still KMOJ. Well, Stan, I see the uh, flashing red lights. I think the parade is about to end. That is a strong possibility. I see the uh, parade director is in a golf cart this year. Oh, is that, is that Mr. Beecham over there? That's Mark Beecham. Okay, yeah, I, I see him coming up. What? Wait a minute. That is so true. All right, ladies and gentlemen. As we wrap this up this year, you know, I hope everyone enjoyed their uh, start of their day to you know, today with the parade, I think we can go down to the festival and enjoy well, the food. And uh, you know, we have uh, some of the parade staff festivities. coming up right here in this uh, black vehicle right here. Oh, that's Mr. Beecham. Well, he would be riding, or is he riding? I think he's back at the corner under the hat. No, Mr. Beecham's right here. Mr. Beecham's right there. All right. So. As this year's 32nd parade comes to a close, you know, I would like to, I would like, you know, it's always a pleasure sitting here in this hot sun with you, Stan, even though we did have a, uh, someone brought an umbrella for us. Thank God for that, your daughter. Yeah, we got rescued by the neighborhood here. They brought us a little bit of shade. And uh, sorry to see the parade close. I was enjoying the parade, having a good time here. And uh, now we're going to bring it down to a conclusion here. Well, you know what? You know what time it is now, right? Yeah, it's time it's to grab some chow. It's time to go. It's time to go eat and enjoy the rest oh, of the day. Oh yeah, eat Actually, and enjoy the festival. I'm going to enjoy it more ways than one. Today's my birthday, so I'm going to have a big fun today. All right. Well, happy <laughs> birthday to you. Yep. 21 again. 21 again. <laughs> well, the third time or fourth? The third time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, on behalf of myself, Bernard Foster, and here's Stanley Freelix, we'd like to say, hey, thank you for coming out for this year's parade and. Have a safe rest of the day, and we hope to see you again next year. So this was the 32nd annual. We hope to see you all back at the 33rd next year. And everybody, have a good day, safe holidays, and a safe season. We'll see you next year.
Sayonara.